Hello, everybody. It's uh, Saturday night, uh, the 14th. Oh, do you see me? I'm on here somewhere. I have my lights on. It's recording, so I'm going to keep speaking. But it's Saturday night. Oh, my tape. I'm not going to read. Uh, this will stay the way it is. But it's serious. It, and I didn't plan it. I'm just about. I, I worship now normally for 40, min, uh, 40 minutes before I read. So it's like a two hour worship and praise in the evening. If you go back over the many uh, videos and posts I did, I have some that, if you will, prophesied that Mr. Biden just would not finish his term. Now, that's not a hard thing to prophesy because it happened early in his presidency. And as Christians, we understand what that means when we prophesy something. And so, right after I gave that word that he would simply not finish his term, that was it. There was the uh, very disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan, like the day after. And somebody made a comment somewhere on one of them and said, well, it's easy to prophesy that because obviously, because of this disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan, anybody could have said it. And I just had to make the note or mental note. I said it like the day before that, or within the week when that took place. But as you know, Mr. Biden is still in office. <laughs> Though there were many, you know, reports that maybe he wasn't going to finish for various political reasons. Now, I still believe that word's going to come to pass, meaning Mr. Biden simply will not finish his presidency. There were also uh, videos and teachings and were videos where I said, <laughs> I felt the cup is full. And what that means for Christians is, Nations come to a time where the cup is full, where the judgment is at hand. And I've been sensing that a lot. And in some of those, I said, you know, I can almost see that the people in the United States who have never seen war on our mainland, which we have never had, we had a civil war but not an actual scenario where there was a foreign country and we're at war, you know, <coughs> uh, Pearl Harbor got us into World War II, but you didn't actually, that was the Pacific Theater that we're at war, as well as in Europe, we're at war, but not on our territory. And I just sensed that that was gonna happen, that that would happen. And I just read a statement a little while ago, it was one of the many that different, uh, it was a Russian general leader, and he basically said, the Americans don't know what, they're not aware of their side of the water, they feel safe, and he simply said, it's going to be there. Now, whether this is Buster or not, I'm trying to speak in the spirit, but I felt that we were going to see things here. Now, I'm not saying for any uh, things that have been going on the last few weeks, I felt like the cup was full, and that we were going to see it here. Now, and I also said on that video somewhere that you could see people in utter shock. When 9-11 happened, and I grew up right there, for those of you that want to, you know, ban these things, but I went... Uh, you know, to the destruction site myself over the years visiting it. Went to the new tower that was built in remembrance of it. Have some pictures, I think, on Facebook. But there was a total, you know, shaking of our country. And it was a disastrous thing. But it was nothing compared to if you had a real nuclear war going on. Now, all of these things were mentioned by me over the last few years, 
And the sense I had is a lot of that will come to pass sort of like all of those events will play a role. This last year, and I'm not even familiar with the person, but there's a, pacif- a particular person who prophesy on video before the Trump assassination attempt. And then his video kind of went somewhat viral. And he basically said that, I think he said he had a dream or a vision that Trump had an attempted assassination on his life and the bullet hit him in the ear. Now, the same person said also that Trump would go down and come up praising God. Now, a lot of critics, Christian critics, maybe out of jealousy or whatever, would say, well, we judge the prophecy to have been untrue because the rest of it didn't get fulfilled. I would just remind people, there were many uh, prophecies in Scripture that an immediate event took place and then later the rest. But that type of a prophecy is much rarer than the ones I have given. That one is very detailed. The odds of an assassination and then to be prophesied exactly how it happened That was a word from the Lord. Now, I know a lot of, and I'm a theological type of a person, and I understand a lot of people mocked that because the rest didn't come to pass. And you know, there's a scripture that says, Behold, (laughs) you mock and you miss what's going on. Now, I am not a Christian nationalist in the sense that many have criticized that idea. I'm not that. But I believe that God speaks in particular times and seasons. And so I would simply say that particular person, preacher, pastor, who I'm not familiar with, who it was brought to my attention by my daughter, and then I just read it. I, I was not super enamored by it, but I immediately understood that was a word from the Lord. And it had to do with Mr. Trump and the assassination at that time. Now, many mocked, not only in the world, but also in the church. But I just said, oh, yes, that would be an accurate thing that this person has seen. And as I'm sitting here and I'm a news reader and I'm, I try not to just play things by what I'm reading, but, but it did, when I read that particular Russian general tonight who said, the Americans think that, you know, they're safe on the other side of the ocean. And some of the comments I was reading were saying, they were saying, seriously, we were speaking about if it gets out of hand, there'll be a nuclear war and it'll be, it'll touch the United States of America. And and the reason I would give this is not to be an alarmist, the way uh, social media is now, even if something you could barely say anything. But what I would say is, I want to go short, but I would say is I sense that the cup is full. That was the sense that I had, that the cup is full, that it, dynasties, if you will, and, play, and countries and nations, they could go so far, and then there's a shaking that takes place. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be something that happens this next week, or But I felt, what I felt was all these things were going to happen, but they were going to happen. You know, one, the one word I gave, I do remember I was angry at the time, but it was that there's going to be a lot of news media and people in utter shock, in utter shock. And many are going to say, it's, it's going to be like a, a major thing where people are going to be in total and complete shock. And I always felt like, I felt like we in the Western world, in the United States, were somewhat sheltered from the realities of what the other parts of the world experience, even in the area of war and how it affects people. I remember many years ago, my dear mom, who was an ultra-liberal MSNBC watcher, I remember how she said, and she was mocking, you know, can you believe, I'll say the name, this is not politics. But she said, can you believe Sarah Palin used to say, most of you should be familiar, which that was uh, John McCain's running mate. She would have been the vice president. John McCain would have been the president. 
And of course, John McCain did lose. But she, my mom and many, many in the media and all said, what, how ignorant that Sarah Palin said you could see Russia from my house, who lived in, Sarah Palin was from Alaska. And so I heard it so many times, you know, and I told my mom, I said, you know, mom, you do see Russia from Alaska. It would be like being able, if you will, Cuba is an island, but it's like the distance from Florida, Cuba, and from Alaska to Russia, actual territory, you could see it. Then my mom had said, well, then why did everybody make fun of it, John? I said, well, they were just making fun of a person. But, but that would be a good example of how society thinks that we're like a big part of the, the United States is like an ignorance. I don't say that in a demeaning way. And I think a lot of us were in the dark. I'm, you know, I'm a reader and a news person. But I, I think a lot of us are sheltered from statements that are being made. And at this stage of the game, some things can be bluster. Some things could be speaking of nuclear war. But some of those statements, I think they're trying to... I've read different analysis over, over time. And some are actually saying... The people of the United States are really not aware of the high-level danger that we're on the brink of. Now, I say this not to be an alarmist, not to get banned from another site. I say I felt that that day was upon us. As a Christian, I say that. I'm not prophesying nuclear war, but I'm saying I felt the day was upon us, that there was going to be a major, major shaking. And of course, a lot of those things I said the last few years, well, it, it could all come to pass sort of like in a moment. And I'm not. There are many very accurate prophets. The one that I did remember very clearly was the Hurricane Harvey. Because I remember that was 2017. I had a, uh, one of my homeless friends, Mike, who I talked about the other day. He made a, I asked him, please make me a painting of Hurricane Harvey. And, well, I was going to say, if you go to our blog, but those are gone. You'd have to, I had a link on the blog that said deviant art. That was purely for homeless people. And that was homeless art. And you would be able to see it on there. But Hurricane Harvey was the year that I said, this is the year. And it was a prophecy, public prophecy. I said, this is the year that the worst hurricane will hit Corpus Christi, Texas, since I've been in Texas. And I got here in 1980, and there was one right before me that was considered a big one. And we've had different ones since all those years here. But I said, this is the year that the worst hurricane that ever hit Corpus will hit Corpus. And as the year went on, we were like a little past the time where it would hit. But I didn't change. I said, this is the year. And I remember clearly, and I'm a retired firefighter, so we used to track hurricanes in the Gulf and see where they're going. I'll tell you the truth. What, you know, why would I lie? I'm not even enjoying a lot of this anymore. But right at the end of the hurricane season, they sort of like the news media who tracks it a lot here if you live in coastal areas. There was a hurricane, but it was not hitting our way at all. It was going, you know, it's going to miss us and go in like Louisiana or up north Houston or something. And a lot of times that happens. But I remember saying as I watched the track, I remember, I said, turn. I said, I prophesy to you to turn. God is my witness. That night, following it and all, they said, you know, within a few hour period, not immediately, they said, oh, it made a sharp turn that normally it doesn't make. And it came and hit Corpus Christi. That is called Hurricane Harvey 2017. That is considered... Uh, the biggest hurricane, most damage to our area since the other one before I got here. So that prophecy did come to pass. It actually came to pass in an interesting way. Now, I don't say that to boast of anything. I say to know that God is real. But my sense is that the, the cup is full. And when I read what the Russian general, one of the statements I read, 
He simply said, but I've read this from others. He simply said, the United States is really not prepared or understanding of the hour that they're at. They really had this sense that they're going to, you know, be immune from it because of the oceans. And I had that sense too. So I, I, I do this not in the spirit of being mad or anything that should get us banned from any platform, though it might. I say, I say this as a word that I feel that we're at, there's going to be like a major event. Okay? And I could see, I don't want to just speak it out of me being a big news reader and watcher of the news and trying to be familiar with all events. But I, I just sense that they, all those things, all those words, the last few years, are going to culminate at one time that I seem like people and news media in utter shock. And when I said that, maybe a few years ago, it was talking about like a war that they would never prepare for. When I said Mr. Biden would not finish his term, that was simply what I said. It wasn't anything else than that. But I could see how all that can come to pass, you know, rapidly and at one time. Now, I would, for the believer, we say we trust the Lord. And even for the unbeliever, we say don't put your trust in things that are down here. Many things are going to change. And the reason I mentioned that Trump prophecy, who many ridiculed and mocked, I would say it, it's easy to live in a time where things or God gives wisdom, words, prophecies, and people just let them go by. I, I am not a big, you know, oh, this Christian, if you will, nationalist who are very big on a particular political person, and I'm not one of those. But I, I recognize that there are times where God is speaking and people are not paying attention. So I pray a blessing on everyone tonight. Uh, I'll have to upload this, so I'll have somewhat of a late night. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday sermon, because of the damage that was done, you'll see it. I used to use all those links from Blogger. I trusted the site. And so I had to make a lot of changes. And uh, so it's going to be somewhat of a abbreviated thing. So I got to do some work. Uh, but you'll see the notes tomorrow. Okay. But I, I pray a blessing on everybody. But this is sort of like something where I would say that the sense I have is there's going to be a very big thing. And I don't just sense it now because I'm reading news. I said it a few years ago. And it's interesting, right before Russia did invade Ukraine, a few years back now, I made a few posts that said they're going to invade very soon. But that was just as a reader of the news, not as a prophetic event. And of course, they did invade. So we're kind of at a space and a time where I think the cup is full. Okay? That's all title. I pray a blessing on everybody. And we do not fear. We put our trust in the Lord. We don't put our trust in things down here. But I think, you know, the day's at hand, okay? God bless everybody. Hopefully.